Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel. Great to be back with another video on, on uh, um, map making in FS22. And uh, today I've got a, a special request uh, from one of the um, subscribers and that is how to add a gate into your map. Now I'm going to show you a few ways how to do that and um, get stuck in with that. So, But before we do that, if this is your first time, a warm welcome to you. Grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and let's join this time together and have a look at this um, gate, how to put that into your map. Great man, and remember to like and to subscribe. <laughs> it does help my channel, I really appreciate that. Great man, guys, so let's get stuck in with that, man. Good, so the first thing we want to do um, is obviously not work in the editor. We're going to get around to that just in a bit. So I'll just add that open for the intro. And now we're going into the game. So obviously, what I've done is I've uh, downloaded this map, uh, uh, um, this uh, um, gate from modland.net. I will put a, a link in the description. Great. So um, without further ado, let's jump into the game and have a look at that. So I'm going to open open the game. So obviously you'll download it, sorry, and then uh, drop it in your mods folder first. Because we're going to put it in the game and first test that it works. So that will be the first step for you to do is make sure that the gate works and everything in it works because if it doesn't work as a mod um, there's no point in adding it to your map because then you're going to have problems and we don't like problems so let's switch this volume down a tiny bit great so let's go in i'm just going to open some of elm creek let's go there start and then um let us have a check at that well guys, here we are inside the map. Um, I've already just bought and placed the, the gate. There's nothing new onto that. However, there's one thing I can show you if you don't know where to find your, your uh, mod or whatever you want to um, import or place. I can quickly show you an easy way you can find the mod in the mods folder and then open the mod and then go into your uh, XML for that. In this case, it's the green one there's a green and a gray so I'm just going to go into the one that I've uh, been wanting to place in the map and then you can look here by um, species category and brush and the brush you'll see it's under placeable and it's a decoration so you will find it under decoration and fences um, in your in your game so very simple and easy go into purchase go to the hamburger uh, construction find it under decoration and then somewhere in here you'll find your gate or whatever um, thing you are busy working with just follow those steps and there they are the gray one and the, and the green one good all right so that is it now we just want to make sure this thing works um, i've already played around as you can see gate opens and closed the sound is working that opens and closed and it's all working if you want to see your triggers and all that you press f5 once and the game will display you all the triggers in the whole game and you can see them all the yellow boxes is triggers good if you want to get rid of that you press it three or four times again f5 uh, one two until you see no more stuff flying around if you see funny things just press f5 once more again <laughs> and it will go away good all right guys so um that is now tested and we're happy with that so let us go out just want to close this up so we oh uh, uh, another good thing is before you uh, go into the map make a note of which save game slot you are selecting for this uh, test and then save the save the uh, the game I should go here save mm -hmm. I'm in slot one so I'm just going to save it because we're going to use that save game slot in a bit in a few minutes time and now we can finally quit the game and on to the next steps good as we wait for that all right we finished with that for now and we've actually um, not finished with that so the next step guys is find your mod once again open it up and then we're going to extract everything inside the mod and put it in our map so I'm just going to make here what I can do is go into my map um, let me use uh, let me just see if I've got a map here the wild I'll, I'll use the wild that will work for now I think I've already done this um, on a previous attempt you create a folder for you in the place where your i3d is located that's normally the best place 
create the placeables folder uh, go fences whatever you are pl uh, putting in your placeables you can create your own directory for it and then I've just put sliding gate and then I've copied everything from the sliding gate whoop, straight into into your game so just select everything in here control A and drag them over like so that it makes a little plus there and drop it there and it will extract everything in there or you can use the extract too if you want to go that way whatever fancies um, whatever tickles your fancy they say good all right so now that it's extracted we can um, go into the map itself so we're going to open the map find your i3d of your map open it up and now we're going to start playing with the with the actual gate in the map to place it I've actually already made a video and while I was busy <laughs> working on the video um, our power went out and my UPS um, crashed my computer so I lost that old video that I've made that's why some of the stuff is already done <laughs> so I'm redoing my video guys great so now you open your map we'll just wait for it to finish opening it shouldn't take too long ready I'm also ready great right guys I found it um, what you want to do um, is make a placeholders folder for your um, placeables I've got a placeables folder already on the map so I'm just gonna drag all my placeables in there because um, the placeholders folder is a special folder I'm gonna quickly show you how to make that and then go open window and then we're gonna go um, let's not open the attributes because we are going to use that as well and also the user attributes for the folder so you open that two windows place them somewhere drag them around okay so what you want to do is go to create create a transform group and you name it placeholders like that you can actually call it anything but I just call it placeholder because that's what it is it's a placeholder um, for stuff that you want to see in the editor but not in the game that's exactly what the folder does it ignores the stuff in the placeholders folder when you load the map in the game but when you open the map in the editor you can still see everything in the placeholders folder which is nice okay so that's the function of it so then you just rename it like that and then uh, drag it into any place where you want to store it mine is just now up there so I'm gonna delete this because it was just an example and then on the folder itself you come here to the user attributes and by the name you type in on create just like that so on with a capital letter very important uh, capital C on create and then at the type you select script because it's a script that's running on this folder and then you click add then you will get an attribute here on top that says on create and it will be blank but then you're going to type in this whole name in there it's placeholders with a capital P dot on create with the same spelling so it remember the dot it must be exactly like that because that's the actual script that in that is in the game and it will run that and will do whatever that script tells it to do all right so that is how you make the folder and then you drop your whole um you import your your um thing your mod that you wanted you import that into that folder so we're going to go import and we're going to go fences sliding gate that's what we're working with I'm going to go for the green one because that's the one I've got saved in the save game and then we're going to take that one you're going to select it you cut it and you drop it into your placeholders folder um, I'm just going to go into the root because it's just for example I will delete it out of my map again or maybe I'll keep it I don't know and then find obviously the spot where you want to place your your, your gate um, in my case I think this spot here looks like it might be a good spot for a gate I'm gonna click on it to select it control B to place it and then I'm just gonna drag it and drop it on the spot where I want it like that and you can do the same now you can uh, put your fence on it and you can make the environment right do the grasses do the roads everything that you want to do in the editor but what we want to get it into the game is we want these coordinates that's basically all you why why you need it here in the map uh, so so basically the next step to do is to edit the XML that's going to pull this into the game because we've got it in the editor now but we want it in the game great so next step 
you should go into um, into your placeables XML there it is so open that up for us so to make sure I don't have anything else here because my game crashed and or, or my computer crashed and then uh, obviously I lost the stuff I saved or, or didn't save <laughs> and this was part of it good all right so now we're gonna go into our save games guys now your save games is in your my documents directory in the same place where your mods folder is there it is so if you go into your mods folder here one directory before that is the farming simulator directory and there you'll see your saved games all nicely listed select the one that you've used I'm going to select save game one that we we I opened it and find your placeables there uh, it's, it's placeables it is um, alphabetical so don't get confused guys placeables on the right is um, the save game and placeables on the left is my map all right so placeables we're going to go find I'm going to go control F and just type gate because I know gate is um, the thing that I've added electric sliding gate there it is all right so what you do now is on the first open line of the script or, or the um, code you click and it will show you everything that's connected to that gate or the mod that you're using so we're going to copy everything there that is has been showed to us so you go control c go to your placeable enter and press home make another line control b and put it in there good now we've got that text in there but it's not going to work yet because there's a lot of stuff that we, we need to fix in here first of all um the mod directory we need to change that but let's just delete all the stuff we don't need so the id can go as always and then position we're going to need rotation we're going to need age and price you can delete so let's delete that so remember the spacing is important as well doesn't really matter if there's two spaces but as long as there is a space it should be fine great so there we go now let us put the positioning in that's our next step you go here to translate x that's your your x y and z positioning so select the first one control shift and c to copy all three just do all that and you come here select this whole line with your mouse like that and then just control and v to paste the positioning in there do the same with the rotation like so control shift c and we go back to rotate this mouse is so sensitive i must actually make it less less sensitive i think that's a bit better control v and there it is now if <coughs> sorry for the throat clear if this um, mod is something that you want on the farm always like in um, new farmer mode and all the other modes then you don't put the default um, farm property but if you want it only on the D on the first one where new farmer mode you copy this default form property true and you paste it in here just before the form id all right okay good so now um let me let me uh do that i'll add it there Control c and paste it into just make sure i'm still at the right thing here just before form id paste it in there make a little space now it will only load in the new former mode but not the others all right so um the next thing is the directory we want to change this modder to map there so this little thing here you go map there instead of modder so now it will go to your map directory so it doesn't matter what your map is called um, it will find your map there and then we're going to get this path right to where we are here at the placeable so I'm going to go into my map uh, which is under mods my map is in the mods folder wherever you put your map open it we're going to go maps uh, alpine and then placeables fences sliding gate so that's the directory that leads to the XML which is that green one um, the green XML that one there 
So what we want to do is we want this directory here on top. So you click there in Windows and then from the wild is my map name. So everything past that, you copy that. That's the directory to get to this place. All right. So then we're going to go back this way. And then once again, from there, everything before that green name, we're going to paste that in there and then change all the slashes like so uh, like so maps uh, map alpine all the chat all the slashes needs to be forward because we're going up the tree good electric sliding gate green xml all right so this now points to our correct um, directory i just want to make sure um So to make sure of that one thing if there should be a slash I can't remember now if there should be a slash between the map there and the, the directory I just want to go in here um, let's go FS22 oh, I'll just go Jarkos Rock did I have any extras in there yeah I think I did uh, think I did placeables And have a quick browse guys nope Jokas Rock doesn't so let's go FS19 it's the same stuff I've got under my map backups where's the folder map placeables and mods there we go FS19 uh, let's go freakly there's a lot of stuff in there and default items Good, so it's mapped their slash. Yes, I thought there must be a slash. Just wanted to make sure of that, guys. So very important, if if you do um, a misspell there, you will definitely have problems. Let's talk us rocks, and this one is where we want to be. Uh, and there needs to be a forward slash. Good. All right, so everything here is now sorted. We can save that placeables. It should be all right. I'm going to keep it open just in case. Um, that's our save game. We finished with that. We don't need that anymore. Now the next step is we need to find this XML and m fix that. That must also be fixed. So we're going to go to our actual mod again. I should have left that open in a new screen because now we're wasting, we're wasting video time. Okay, sliding great green. That's the one there. Now this we need to modify. There's a few things that you need to modify in this. Image is the first one. And then the next one is um, file name. This points to the I3D of that electric sliding gate green. So it, that also needs to be changed. Great. So what we do now is we're going back to our placeables. Because we've got the directory already here. So you're going to copy this whole line again. With the forward slash. Control C. So from our map there, the whole directory up to where the sliding gate green XML is. And then we're going to paste that. Let's go to the icon first. Control V. Paste it in there so that it comes there to the sliding gate store green DDS. So now we just make need to make sure that this store electric sliding gate green DDS is in the directory. So let's look at that. Store electric sliding gate green. There it is. So this is the right spot for it. And then the next one, the same thing with the I3D. Control V, paste it in there. So this should lead to our green I3D. And we should find it. Green I3D, there it is. Good. So that too is done. That's the main important ones. The rest of the things you can go through the list and make sure there's no sound or other things that, like here, moving. So there should be a directory now from this XML that says sounds and then electric gate dot wav. So let's have a look if that's true. There it is. Sounds electric gate dot wav should be in here. There it is. So just verify all your little things that's extra in your um, XML file. Here's another one. Sounds gate dot wav. It was there. I saw it. Whatever else is in there, just fix the directories and all should be well. Once you've done that, you save. And then the last thing we need to do is add a line to the mod desk file for the shop. 
because the shop right on top here the store data this store data needs to be recorded in the in the mod disk so we're going to go back to our map go find our mod disk that should be right in your root directory open that up and then what we're going to do is um, we're going to add a a line here the easiest for me will be to just get it from one of my other maps again uh, I'm just going to go into my maps backups uh, let's go FS19 again freakly freakly and then mod disk in here the store items so what you want to do is grab the store items I'm just going to control C you can um, go mod disk the wild and then on your last line before mod disk closes create a line there paste it in there so that you have store items I'm going to now delete all of them except for that one and then just modify the one so you can go any map guys um, and then obviously now you can take any map store items just to get it in there to, for the right spelling it makes it easier and then what I'm going to do now is take that directly the same one again so that we can close electric sliding gate so we're going to take uh, the one that see goes take the one in your placeables because that's already got the electric sliding gate XML so now we're going to copy this whole line right up to the XML because your XML needs to be in the mod desk not the i3d the XML so control C go back to your mod desk and between the inverted commas now we just copy that all or paste that whole line control V just like that and we should be all away so now the, the store items tells the game that this mod needs to be in the store and this is the XML for it so when it opens this XML this one here it will tell give all the store data where it is to be placed and whatever so if you get any errors of store data either your directory is is wrong uh, um, here in the mod desk make sure it comes from the the right in the front just verify all of that and it specifies the xml for the mod that you've imported all right so now that we've done with that we can save and finally we can save our map just like that and remember guys this um gate now here will not be in the map the one that we pull in via xml will be the one in the map all right it says ready we can close the map and then open the game and let us verify that the gate is there and it's working i was just not trying to remember where i've placed the gate <laughs> it's somewhere down there by the road so we'll see it should be there if we have any problems we'll have to fix it together good go in there go a new game because you don't want to go on your save game continue uh, just select everything and wait for it to load up if all goes well <coughs> you can verify your um, your log while it's loading there shouldn't be any errors well as it is guys I loaded the wrong map so let me just get into the wild and uh, let's go from there <laughs> okay guys I've um, got my log file open yeah you can see clearly I didn't um, didn't modify the directories for the sound of the electric gate that should also have that whole directory from maps um, placeables whatever so I actually didn't do that I didn't think of that so anyways while we're in here I'll quickly just see that the, the gate is there um, if I remember correctly it was down there somewhere so I'll quickly just run there and let us have a look I don't know if that's going to be so quick but there is the gate good we can now verify that it works one thing I forgot to say also remember to remove the mod from your map directory and you can hear it's working but there's just no sound and um, that is basically how you do do that guys add a mod to your map great so all I need to do now um, there is actually another way to um, to do the mod is instead of uses putting the mod in your map you can just use it as a modder in your um, placeable 
then you have modder here and the mod name like you had in the beginning exactly so you just leave everything as is but the problem with that is you always then need the gate mod in your mods folder if for some reason you want to share your map with someone else you're going to have to give him that mod as well otherwise it won't work but anyways um, all i need to do now is go into the electric green find those elusive sound um, thingamabobbies and then just copy um, this whole thing here up to the electric sliding gate like that Control c put it in there by sounds Control v so map alpine placeables fences sliding gate sounds like that and then just find the others there was three or four of them just do the same with all of them i should have picked it up i didn't think of that but anyways it's good it happened so then you can see as well and then save and then your sound errors will be gone and your sounds will work because it is there we have verified it um so yeah all well well guys i hope it's been insightful i hope it's been fun <coughs> it's been fun to me and uh, I really uh, appreciate you watching. If there's uh, any any anything else I can add to it, I will I will do in the next video. But I'm sure this will be enough to help you find and place your own mods in your map and have it in game. Great man! Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks to my supporters. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.